At the risk of sounding like a broken record, the climate is heating dangerously fast. 2023 was a remarkable year in climate. 2024 is likely to be worse. January 2024 was the hottest January on record. 2024 is set to be the hottest year on record. Every single one of the last eight months has been the hottest on record for that particular month. The climate is heating dangerously fast. European Climate Monitoring Service Copernicus just announced that 2025 may very well end up being another year where temperatures exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial temperatures. Global temperatures between January and November 2025 were tied with 2023 as the second warmest on record at 1.48 degrees above pre-industrial, making only 2024 warmer. Copernicus says that 2025 is virtually certain to be the second or third hottest year on record. And for the first time, the three-year average looks set to tip over one and a half degrees. Ten years since the landmark Paris Agreement, which promised to keep temperatures to well below two degrees Celsius and to pursue efforts to keep temperatures to below one and a half, and instead of falling off or levelling, temperatures have risen a third of a degree in just a decade. Meanwhile, there's increasing evidence that many of the planet's vital ecosystems and environments, like the West Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets, coral reefs and critical ocean currents, cannot withstand even today's level of warming for long without sustaining irreversible damage. The good news is, we know what the solutions are. Number one is that we need to cut emissions and reduce temperatures by restoring natural ecosystems and deploying carbon negative technology. Number two is that we need to adapt to the world we're living in as it changes around us. And number three is that we need to make sure that those solutions apply equitably to everyone. We don't need to repeat the experience of the Titanic where there are only enough lifeboats for the passengers in first class. And now, the bad news. There are people actively standing in the way of these solutions for their own gain. And despite scientists, campaigners and members of the public issuing these warnings for decades, they don't seem to want to listen. Climate change isn't sinking in for executives and presidents who fly in private jets on golf trips. It's hitting communities in the global south and more deprived areas within countries. Extreme events like the ones that we saw in 2025 are becoming more frequent, damaging and deadly, with hotter heat waves, heavier rainfall and stronger winds during storms. People who profit from climate devastation don't want to listen, so we've got to make them listen. So if you care about this, write to your elected officials, get involved in campaigns, protests, strikes, boycotts, whatever it takes to get your voice heard. The scientific evidence is loud and clear. Climate change is killing us, and it's the people with the least responsibility for causing it that are suffering the most. I know it's exhausting to keep saying the same thing over and over again with seemingly little to show for it. I myself am very tired of saying the same thing over and over again, and I've only been saying it for 20 years. But scientists are going to continue to sound the alarm right to the end, no matter how frustrating it is to be playing a broken record. Maybe one day those billionaires will wake up and realise that the house is on fire. Climate comms can sometimes feel like smashing your head against a brick wall. You know, bruising with very little to show for it except a slight concussion. But the support of all you lovely lot does make me feel very slightly less mental. And if you would like to help the channel, and me, to make more climate communications, then please give these vids a thumbs up and a share to get them in front of more eyes. And if you can spare a few quid, then you can also sign up as a member here on YouTube or over on Patreon. I don't tend to focus on YouTube memberships quite so much, so if you want all the perks, then sign up over here. And if you also like to torture yourself, then you can watch this video I made about 2024, the hottest year of our lives so far. All right, ciao for now.